everybody. Thank you for joining me today. Today I am sharing my bullet journal setup for April 2022. I am using a chicken theme. The thought process went Easter, eggs, and we landed on chicken. <laughs> I am doing the pull tab for April. I decided to go back to the pull tabs because they are so much fun and add that extra fun element. I did try and do a pull tab for March, but physics wasn't my strong suit and I made the flap too heavy so it didn't work but this pull tab does work and I am super excited to be announcing something on Monday so head on over to my Instagram and you can check that out um, but I digress this month we are looking at functional layouts with some color thrown in um, I'm really have got so much going on and I really need to start keeping better track of everything and so that's been my focus in my bullet journal is the productivity side of things. So the pull tab you see me create is very simple, very easy. I ended up cutting out the one box and just used that as a guide to cut out the second box so I didn't have to worry too much about making them very even. And here you see me cutting the pull tab portion of the pull tab page and again just very simple very easy um, I can I have done this before I'll link that up in the cards above and down in the description box below that you can follow along I believe February 2021 was the first time I did this kind of a pull tab the trickiest part of a pull tab by far is the gluing and making sure you're not gluing in the wrong places <laughs> so I always take a little bit of extra time to glue that in for April I'm using my Tombows I feel like it's been a while since I've used Tombows I always reach for my acrylic graphs which I really really love um, but just for quick convenience not having to wait for it to dry I just grabbed my Tombows this month I'm using a B5 Archer and Olive dark red notebook I love the B5 size um, I switched over last year, I believe, and I already have my next B5 picked out. I'm super excited, <laughs> but I am an affiliate for Archer and Olive. You can check out my link down below if you wanted to grab one. They have new stock coming in every couple months, so definitely go and check them out when you get the chance to, and you can use my discount code NML10 for 10% off. So I am going to take time here to talk about my Patreon. Over on my Patreon, I am teaching creative journaling. Every month we do a lettering style, a doodle, um, some journaling, a technique, and then we do a quote page and some art journaling as well. So I know that sounds like a lot, but it's spread out so that every week you have something new to work on. And for that month, the main focus is on the lettering style and the doodle. The journaling portion is great too because you're able to build a reference book so that you're going to be able to look back on that for inspiration and ideas for themes. The lettering style I use in my April bullet journal is actually the lettering style we're learning in April from Blank to Brilliant Library over on Patreon. So I have that link down below as well if you wanted to check that out. My quote page, I'm not a hot mess, I'm a spicy disaster. And I feel like this perfectly captures this layout set up perfectly. <laughs> and you're going to see why when we start working on the next page. So I thought it would be fun to do some letters backwards because of the whole chicken scratch, chicken, just not taking myself too seriously. And it was only when I started editing this video that I realized how much trouble I was in and um, you'll see in a minute. Here you see me cutting a Dutch door for my calendar page. On the one side is going to be the calendar layout and then underneath is going to be my goals, priorities and then a place to jot down whatever's coming up for next month. I've been using this goals page with sticky notes using my um, power sheets, Cultivate What Matters power sheets and just putting it over onto stickies. I will link my productivity plan with me that you can check out as well. 
And another fun thing that I thought I'd do for April is to, instead of drawing lines, I did dots and that took forever, but it was a lot of fun and I love the effect. So this is my first disclaimer right here. <laughs> I didn't mean to put the R beneath the A, I meant to spell April correctly, just have the letters backwards and that didn't work out. The fun thing is I had another spelling error on the next page, so it almost looks like it was on purpose, but full disclosure, it wasn't. And the best part about my mess up on this page is my see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil chickens that I have doodled at the bottom of the page. <laughs> my quote page is also, or sorry, the quote that I used on this page is also very appropriate for this situation. like to outline my letters and here you see me adding a shadow. The grey that I used wasn't quite dark enough but if I went over in a second grey it was going to be too dark so I just kind of embraced it and then added in the thin black line at the edge of the shadow and that way you kind of saw it more clearly or see it more clearly which I really like and as always I'm adding in my borders. I just it doesn't look finished without the border. So that is why you'll always see me do a border. For my quote, I'm doing simple, just calligraphy. <laughs> and the quote I chose was, sometimes you just have to say, cluck it. Yeah, that's how I feel about this page. <laughs> uh, this is washi that I made. Um, it's actually chicken wire and the camera doesn't pick it up very well, which is unfortunate, but I do have it available for free download in the From Blank to Brilliant library on my website, as well as some chicken stickers. So if you wanted to go grab that, you just have to sign up for my email newsletter and then you're able to go in and grab this free download and use the stickers or images. I just ask that it's for personal use only. Otherwise, you can use them as you please. And here's where I'm adding my goals, my priorities, and my space for next month. I know those the goals area looks lofty given how big it is, but it's actually for sticky notes. Not that I have a million goals I want to accomplish for April. <laughs> so this is a new layout for me. Um, it's called Monthly Projects and I actually got the inspiration from a notebook that I bought from Indigo, which is a bookstore in Canada. And basically you list your project, the due date, the priority um, or how important the project is, and then the action steps to get the project done. And I really, really like this and I'm probably going to use the journal as well, but I wanted to incorporate it into my bullet journal to see how it works for me. And as you can see, it's monthly, not monthly. So that is my next big spelling error <laughs> that I made. That is the last one that I make. So if you're a perfectionist um, and this is driving you crazy, don't worry. Other than the backwards letters, the pain is over. I did not make any more spelling errors. If I did, please don't tell me. I don't want to know. <laughs> So back to the functionality of this page, I'm really excited. Um, again, I think the five squares are maybe too much for one month, but we're just going to give it a try and see. This is basically also built, goes back to my goals and what I want to accomplish in terms of the individual goals. So I have my goals then the sub goals underneath those goals and then the action steps to get it done. I've decided to be very um, specific with myself. I've, I'm really good at avoiding things that make me uncomfortable and goal setting is one of those things. So I am trying to make this as simple as possible by breaking it down to as small as steps as possible um, and hoping that that's what's going to help keep me on track. So here's my tracker and notes page. Um, just like last month, I'm just doing the square trackers again, just for convenience sake to get it done. I'm not really good at using my trackers, so 
that's something else I really want to focus on, especially from a health standpoint. I'm trying really hard to get my health on track, but right now it's two weeks of good, two weeks of three weeks of bad. So <laughs> I'm just trying to keep that consistent and consistently okay instead of good or bad. I'm not going to lie. We're just aiming for middle ground here. <laughs> definitely kept my layouts simpler this month with less creative elements just mostly color um that's just convenience factor I could have put some stickers down um I know that but I really wanted to a show you guys that I actually draw these <laughs> and then b um functional oh sorry productivity is becoming so critical for me there are so many balls in the air right now and I'm definitely losing track of some, so this is kind of my way to try and keep it all together. It's a mixed bag, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I use some digital tools as well to help me keep track of what's going on. And then the biggest thing I've introduced is timers. I pretty much use a timer for everything now, which is actually really helpful for trying to keep me on track. Um, the pandemic definitely turned me into more of a homebody than I'm used to being and the convenience of having everything online is definitely fantastic but I have appointments to get to now and to get my kids to and stuff to do so I really need to a remember appointments and b show up on time so <laughs> that was my biggest goal for May uh, March and I'm gonna kind of try to keep that as a goal for April because yeah it's getting ridiculous so this is my weekly layout uh, very simple very easy um, just the dots took forever but outside of that I just needed something that was a little bit more functional and I'm not gonna lie to you, I have this on my Instagram reels that you can check out as well, which is what you saw me do there. Um, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for sticking around. I know I haven't been very active, but I have some plans coming up that I'm hoping to share with you soon. So thank you so much for watching. Stay to the end for the full flip through.